Would you go polygon for another box? Yeah, polygon. Click on your polygon tab. Or if you hit the space, should be... I don't know, I don't really fucking use that one for polygon. But yeah, just go to your polygon tab and just create a new polygon, or new box. You just extrude it up. Now, let's select the face, the top face, by hitting the F11 key, or going to select, and then face. What was it again? Um, select. Yeah, select and face, right? Face, yeah. Got it. And then you select top. the top. Okay. Now, selected it. Now we're going to use the different tools up here mesh and edit mesh, and it's pretty much kind of you can mess around with your object and make it into different shapes. You don't, you don't even know where is your toolbar for that one? Did you get rid of it? Okay. Should be up there. Let me see. Let me go, fuck, window. Let me use display. Okay, go to, uh, this, hit the space bar. When, when, when this part's not showing on top, all you gotta do is hit space bar. Fuck. Pitch. Oh, don't tell me Matt crashed on me. Okay. What the fuck? It's my auto save. It's auto save? Yeah, I have like a setting where it auto saves like every 15 minutes. Okay, so spacebar, go to um, display. Hold it down, and then go down to UI elements. UI elements, and then you should have. Well, you have everything. Oh wait, no UI elements. Command line. Get everything on. Oh, tool settings. Go to tool settings and turn that on. Okay. What was it? UI elements. Yeah, UI elements. And tool settings. Wait, never mind. Oh, you know what? That's so fucking weird. It's, it's Mac. It's up here, actually. You see it? You have it on. It's just that since you're using the Mac, all that tool, that that bar up there, is actually up here. So no, so you're good. You're good. You don't have to display anything on. So I hit. Where so I go to um, you know, select the face, top face. Uh huh. Go, Assist, animate, animate. Go to um. Make sure you're in. Polygon. See, animation. When it's on animation, that means you're going to be using the tools for animation, but oh. we're not going to be animating. You know, the polygons because we're creating. What's dynamics? Dynamics. Um, yeah, it's like um. Dynamics is. I have no fucking clue. I never use dynamics yet. What's rendering? Rendering. It's just lighting. Lighting. Oh, really? Lighting and adding material. Cool. So I was like, exactly. Okay. So polygons. Yeah. So polygons. Oh, there it is. Mesh and edit. Mesh. Yeah. There you go. So we're going to go to Edit Mesh, and we're going to go to Extrude, and yeah. open up the box. Hit the box on the right. Oh. Yeah, so you can bring up the options. Oh, what this? So what this does is pretty much... You know what, I don't really like using the option bar here. So just... Don't click on the option, the box. Just click on extrude itself. So I get this one? Yeah, you get it. Okay. Well, I can try it. Okay, fine. Edit. What edit, edit mesh. mesh. Extrude. extrude. Yeah. And then now you see the uh, these these toolbars right here. It's like, I think it's a new feature from my 2012. I don't think 2011 had this. But. It's kind of nice. I don't know if you can read it. Yeah, thickness, offset. Thickness, offset, and division. division. You mostly want to worry about thickness most of the time. That's just how much, the, the more you increase it, some higher that face extrudes into like another pretty much another polygon. See? But it looks like, but it's all like the same. 
Yeah, it's pretty much you're just extruding the faces, so that's useful for when you want to, like, if, for example, we can create another extrusion over here on the sides, instead of just creating a whole new box and, like, attaching it, you can just extrude those faces. And the offset, which is pretty much, it's kind of like you're, um, you're scaling the top part of the face that we just extruded. So it's just, you know, coming together or apart. And divisions, it's just creating more, more, more edges. You can create more divisions between that extrusion. I don't mind all weird. Where are you going? Did you extrude it again? Yeah. Uh, let me see, go up. Go all the way up. Delete it. I did. Extrude it again, but now you make boxes. That's weird. Dude. So that's like I have no face on top. That's cool. Just undo it. Like, Sometimes I can mess it up though, because if you have like a face on top of another face and you're trying to texture it. It's just like a waste of polygon yeah, space. But since you're not doing it for games, it probably not doesn't matter much. Check this out. Got it. That way you Yeah. Now if you select the edges on the side, so you can click select this one and then select the other one by holding shift and clicking. Got and then go back to edit mesh and extrude. You wanna make sure this time that that See how you did that angle, right? You get actually your angle is more angular than mine. <laughs> but see if you see how see how you're extruding it right now uh -huh. with that part. If you hit this little um, power button looking thing up here, uh -huh. it goes to global mode, and that way when you extrude it, because your your angle was more like this, so it was extruding down. But if you want to extrude it, extrude it straight to the right, you have to click that button. And now when you extrude it, it extrudes straight out instead of having that angle. So, hit undo a couple of times because I think you must say that. No, okay. And then hit this thing, it's already on. Okay, then. Thickness? Yeah, thickness. Is that an angle or something? It's still an angle, okay, but I guess. I guess sometimes it ignores it. Yeah, and you can change the opposite too back. Oh, I can make more faces. Yeah, division adds edges, so you can create more faces. Hey, you made a weird shape too. Yeah, they all come out weird. Looks like the top of a. You know what this reminds me of? Ever played that Nintendo game, Dragonite? And they have the Rob the Robot? Like an old 80s Nintendo thing. I think that looks familiar. It sounds familiar. If you look, you'll find it. We'll look it up later. So yeah. Yours looks like a hammer. Kind of does not if I extrude this part right here. Extrude this one. Can you thin it out? Yeah. If you want to thin it out, you could do like well, one extrude, way. Let me extrude the bottom real quick. Yeah. This whole thing right and click? Just the bottom, yeah. Oh, just the bottom first, yeah. right? Okay, I'm gonna go back to edit mesh, extrude, mesh. Just extrude straight down. Don't don't do the offset. This. Yeah. And then now what do I do? Now now after you've extruded, you can select. You can do two, uh, two three ways actually. You can select that face. The bottom face. Yeah, or you can select go to hit uh, F10 and double click on that edge. Never mind, it doesn't do it. But if you, you can select all these edges, or if you hit F9, you can select all the vertices on the bottom. And then just scale it down using this one right here, the yellow one. And it just scales down like that. How do you, uh, what if I just want to do with the extrude? Or whatever, just click the bottom page? Yeah. And, what? and then just hit the uh, arc, arc, down. arc key. Down. Yeah, hit on. Hit the R key. Hit the R key. And then grab the yellow cube and then just pull it to the left. Okay. Grab the yellow to the left. Oh. And then just extrude it. Down. Yeah. Let's say you want to make this have like an interest more interesting handle. If you want to add more edges to give it more like of a smooth kind of grip so yeah. your hand can place it straight. 
So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scale this, move this more down. You can move it more down too. You don't even have to extrude it again. All you can do is just grab the vertices, the edges, or the faces, whatever you choose. So I'm gonna go back to face to face mode and select that face. And you can just pull it down and it'll extend. Yeah. And it'll extend more down. Oh no no, you have to you have to go to a move move mode, which is that one, yeah. Or the W key. And then grab it down. Make uh, sure though. Shift. Make sure no. Hold on. Take it out. And then hit undo. Make sure you grab the um that green one. Ah, the green yeah, one. Yeah, if you if you select there it is. when you move it and you select that box, you can pretty much move it anywhere in perspective mode. But that's not always gonna help because you wanna move it down. So you make sure you hit the green one. You just, you just go straight down it locks by itself straight down. So you wanna move it, you know, just whatever Whatever down you want to. Is there a way we can move the this plane? Uh, actually, you can take that off. Just hit the G. Oh, no, that's for Max. Fuck. Um, go to a window. You want to take the grid off? I don't want just, to. Just. Is there a way like? Cause I can't like move left to right this. Or you can just if you want if you want the grid still on, just go to object mode by hitting select up here. When object mode or F8. So what was it? Select. select. You can go up here. It's up here actually. Um, select. Turn object mode. Grab the yellow arrow when you're in move mode. Hit the W key or hit this icon. And then just grab the, the yellow one. In your case, it's not yellow. It's actually green. That's weird. Okay, and then just pull it up. Oh. Shit. That works. That way I can actually still be in. Yeah. It's yellow now. Yeah, mine's. I don't know why mine's not. Okay. All right. So. So now, um, we're gonna add divisions here on the bottom. I mean, right here on the handle. So you can have like kind of like that grip and right. that um that that dent that round dent like that where you, your hand can place you know you can place your hand on that handle. So you want to add multiple lines, right? Edges. By doing that, you can go to Edge, Edit Mesh. Wait, 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 do I grab anything yet? Make sure you just select an object. Oh, that's good. Wait, this like this? This whole thing right here? Yeah, no, you just go like that. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's selected because it's green. So go to Edit Mesh. Go to Insert Edge Loop, but click on that box next to it insert, for, oh, to open up the object. The, the, insert um, insert. Edge Loop Tool? Yeah, and then click on the box next to it to open up the uh, settings. Mm -hmm. My settings are actually on the other window. If you just have it selected here and maintain position relative distance from edge mm -hmm. and you click on one of the edges, you want to create it right here in between this edge and that edge to create the handle or just create that, that grip. What you got to do is um, select the edge and see how it, that dotted line means that it's about to place another edge. Once you let it go, it's placed. So relative and then just click on, no, no, not there. That's going to select it straight down the middle. Mm -hmm. You want to select it on the edges of the wannabe hammer. Like here? Yeah. Just place it anywhere you like, most likely where you're going to probably grab it. So yeah, that's just, that's just only one though. You want, we want to do multiple so I can have more of like a texture or kind of like a more uh, decorative handle. But if you move that right now, let's say you don't want it, then you want to move it. Move it. It's kind of going to kind of mess up a little bit your, uh, your so you can get it right the first time. You can fix that though. You can fix this by just you know scaling it outwards, but it's gonna take a little bit more time, you know, because you want to set it to like this silhouette already. And when I add that edge loop back again, so insert edge loop, and then I move it. I'm gonna mess it up. You see how it's like messing up a little bit? Warped it. Yeah, it warped a little bit. It's kind of messed it up. So you want to make sure you get it right the first time. You can always fix it again. You can always undo it. Sometimes maybe you kind of you find out that by using that tool and you move it up, that you kind of like that shape a little bit better. And it gives it more of a decorative look to it. But for now, we'll just keep it simple.
but we want to add multiple. You can do that. You don't have to add. You don't, you're not restricted to just adding one extra edge. You go to multiple edge loops. So what's it? So go back edge. to edit mesh. Uh, insert edge loop and click on the box. And then, and then no, no, you you just go to, go to make sure you click multiple edge loops. Yours might appear here on the side, but all your tool settings might. All your tool settings when you click on the box, they're probably going to appear here on the side. Mine appear off the screen because that's why. It's my preference. Edge loop? Yeah, just click on this right here, multiple right here? edge loops. Yeah. All right, make one though. So I, should I get rid of that one? Yeah, get rid of that one by getting rid. Let me tell you how to get rid of it. All right, I just went backspace, but okay. Yeah, that, you can do backspace or undo. But this is what happens if you get rid of an edge um, by hitting just backspace or delete. Oops. And let me select it. Okay. We just hit delete. It looks fine, right? Uh -huh. Like it's gone. But really, it's really not that gone. If you go to vertex mode, hit the F9. See those vertices? They're pretty much vertices just hanging out by themselves without any purpose. Do you have nine? You might have it set up differently. You want just I go to a real keyboard. That's fine. Though. You can just go to um. Well, this is just an example. You don't have to follow me. But see those vertices have to delete the edge. Uh -huh. They're still hanging out. They're not really supposed to be there because they're not doing much. They're just taking up for game for game design, game modeling. They're really waste and they'll mess up like with your texturing or you would put it into ZBrush it'll mess it up because if they're not supposed to be there, they have no purpose. So when you delete an edge, hit the delete button and then go to vertex mode and then just pretty much select the whole model and hit delete and it'll delete any vertice that's hanging out by itself. So these vertices are not affected because here they're, con they're connected. They're all connected because of an edge. Those vertices weren't, so they got deleted. So that's just a quick tutorial on deleting your, your edges. When you delete your edge, make sure you delete. You go back to vertex mode, select everything, undo. and delete. Oh, you can yeah. do undo, yeah. yeah. But sometimes you, when you're much like ahead of yeah. your process, yeah. and you see that mistake, then you can just do that. So anyways, back to going to... So, now that I got rid of everything, mul multiple edge loops now? Yeah, multiple edge loops. How many do I want? Let's do... Hold on, let me go. Let's do... Fuck, I'm really bad at estimating, so let's just do... F let's do four. Okay. Four. And then select the edge. Let's see how it selects. Four. So it just places four. Okay. So I'm just messing around here, seeing these. Let's see what the rest of the options do. So yeah. The only thing about that is, um, I'm not sure because I'm more used to using 3ds Max, but in, when in their version of Insert Edge Loop, when you place it, you can actually, um, while you're placing it, you can actually make all the uh, edges come closer together or away from each other. Here on Maya, I'm not sure exactly how you're able to do that. So can you just pick the, can you just pick the lines and move them up or something? You could pick them individually, Probably. but like I said. It'll um, it'll kind of mess up your silhouette a little bit. So you know, you, you like the silhouette and you try to move it down. Mess it up. Let's um, since I kind of wanted them closer together, so I can show you like a cool thing. Let's, let's do it again, but let's just create one in between the four that we just created. In this case, it's going to be in three. For edit mesh, uh, interest, inter loop tool. Another four? Just one. Make sure you go to, if you want to go back to one, go to relatively distance from edge. Relatively distance from four. And one, right? How about this? I just pick one. So I just put one there in between there. One between there. Every single one? One between there. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you want to do one there. Just, just kind of in between the middle. Just kind of, I estimate it doesn't have to be perfect. Another one there. One more? 
and then one more there, and that's it. Okay. So that's that. You kind of got the little thing going on, but it really doesn't make no difference in the silhouette because it's all just flat surface. So you want to create it kind of like like a grip. I know it's very basic and pretty primitive, but if you go to 